Hi guys, so we recently went on a trip to California and we explored all around the Santa Cruz area. We toured the city of Santa Cruz, Aptos, the Redwood Forest, Capitola, Seascape, the Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk, and even more. And I'm gonna take you on our trip with us and show you everything we did from start to finish. So maybe you can get some ideas for the next time you visit Central California. There's so much to do in this area from beaches to cool restaurants and cute local coffee shops to shopping downtown and even hiking through the tallest trees in the world. I promise you'll never run out of activities here. When we arrived, we settled into our beach house located at La Selva Beach. This was right on the water and it was perfect for our kids to go to and from the beach very easily. Every morning that we were there, we decided to try a new local coffee shop. Me and Nick are avid coffee drinkers, so we had to see what Santa Cruz coffee was made of. The first coffee shop we went to was called Cat and Cloud Coffee. This was located in Aptos, which was about 10 minutes away from where we were staying. This was such a funky place inside with a clean yet colorful aesthetic. They serve some breakfast foods like avocado toast and a variety of different coffee roasts. They had a little seating area up front, so we decided to sit and enjoy our drinks for a little bit before we headed back to the house for a relaxing family day at the beach. We went in mid-June and the weather was in the mid-70s and partly cloudy pretty much our whole stay. Some days there was no sunshine and it was pretty gloomy, but on the days where the sun came out, the weather was perfect. The water was freezing, of course, so we didn't really swim or go in the water, but the air was not too hot, not too cold. It was a great in-between temperature. We are on our way to what is it called? Redwoods. Henry Cowell. To see the Redwoods. Henry, Henry Cowell. Henry Redwoods. Cowell Redwoods State Park. We're gonna see what these redwood trees are all about. Bubba, well, we're not gonna watch on the phone. We're at the Redwoods State Park. How many? Uh, two of them. I have a surprise for them. Oh, look, Bubba, there's a surprise. There's a surprise. What is the surprise, Lovey? I don't know. I don't oh know. my what, goodness! What there you go. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Oh, You're right. Wow, and do you have a map? Too? Oh, okay, perfect. Okay, so Redwood Grove. You can take a stroller if you need. To. Oh, perfect. oh, Redwood oh. Grove. Perfect. Thank you awesome. so much. Thank you. That was so sweet of that guy to give you a surprise, huh? Like I mentioned earlier, we went to Henry Cowell Redwood State Park in Felton, California, which was about a 30 minute drive for us from Santa Cruz. The park ranger letting us in said that the Redwood Grove area was great for kids and stroller friendly, so that's where we decided to stop. They had a little souvenir store that we shopped at. That's where Pax got his little duck call that you guys saw at the beginning of this hike. This grove has a little loop that is really, really pretty and honestly a really easy hike and great for kids or tourists that don't really want too hard of a hike but still want to see the redwoods 
It's also stroller friendly, like I said, so perfect for families with little kids. That was so cool. Those trees are so big, aren't they, Bubba? Were those the biggest trees you've ever seen? Yeah. That was fun, though. I think, did you guys like it? Did you have a fun time? Yep, now yeah, we're going down to eat. This road is literally like this way around. Watch. Look at this. Okay, Bubba, what's that I don't even think, I don't think I can look that way. This is so crazy. Is this legal? Okay, let's listen to another song. What song? called Fisherman's Wharf. What is this? I mean, it's a wharf. I know, but... It's just like a... Out it's in out the in the ocean. sea. It's in the, in the ocean. No, but what is that? A dock. It's like a giant like a, dock. Yeah. Essentially. That doesn't like float around. I think it's pretty safe. It's dug into but the ocean But it's cool. Floor. There's like a whole bunch of restaurants and um, like stores and cute little like shops and stuff. So we're going to walk around, but we're just waiting for the to wake up we're being really quiet because our kids are sleeping so me and nick have been <laughs> we've been taking turns going in and out of the car because they're seals and birds so we're taking turns like watching the seals and the and the ocean At the wharf, we went to a little brewery called Humble Sea Beer Garden and got some sour beer that was on tap. It was so good, and I'm not the biggest fan of beer, to be honest, so that says a lot. They had fire pits on that we cozied up by, and we just watched the ships go by in the ocean. We played some fun games like cornhole as well, and then we went to this restaurant called Mackay Island Kitchen, and we just got some late lunch. We had the coconut shrimp to split, and it was so, so tasty. Day three was probably my favorite day. This is when we went to Capitola and explored downtown in the beach over there. This little downtown area where all the shops are located is so darling and a great little vacation beach town spot. We of course had to stop for coffee to start our day. So we went to Mr. Toots Coffee House that's located right on the water. We ate our croissants and drank our iced lattes on the balcony. And we had an amazing view of these beautiful painted cottages across the bay. These colorful houses is kind of what Capitola is known for and really makes the whole city in my opinion. It honestly looks like it should belong in Europe or something and it just is so fun to walk through this area. All the pastel colors just brought out the bright side in me and it truly just made me so happy and my kids were so happy. It was just so, so awesome to see. I really enjoyed this walk that we took around this little pastel village in Capitola.
After our walk around the town, we headed over to an arcade that was downtown right across the street from the beach and all of the restaurants on the main street in Capitola. We just let our kids run around a little bit in this big arcade just to get their energy out. This was so fun for them and a great little pit stop to our day. the kids played in the arcade a little bit we headed over to margaritaville which was right across the street to eat there's quite a few restaurants on the main street here that all back up into the water so you can have a beautiful ocean view on the beach while you eat i've personally been to pizza my heart which is a great new york style pizza place and margaritaville which is where we went to today and that's what you're seeing right now it was delicious we got the burrias tacos and everything was so so good i am just such a sucker for mexican food and so is nick we sat right on the water and had yet another great view of the pastel houses we actually ended up going back to margaritaville again the next day with more of my family because we just loved it so much probably my favorite food of the whole trip for sure that and the freshly picked California strawberries from the fruit stand on the side of the road. The Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk is always one of our favorite activities to do each year on this vacation. If you're not familiar with it, it's basically an amusement park right on the beach. It has rides for everyone of all sizes and ages. There's games, food, roller coasters, stores. It's such a great time. Highly recommend checking out the boardwalk if you're visiting Santa Cruz, but definitely plan out a whole day for it so you can really take your time and enjoy it because it's a pretty big place. The next day we went and spent our morning and evening actually at Seascape Village, which is this cute little shopping center that has these bright blue cottage style stores. We got some coffee in the morning from this little coffee shop called South Point Seascape and we drank it out by this water fountain. This place is just so lovely and the atmosphere is so gorgeous. There was really not any people there when we went in the morning, so my kids just ran around and explored the upstairs area where all the shops were, and we just took it slow and enjoyed the views and each other's company. 
we actually went back to the beach for the day and just relaxed at the beach and we ended up going back to Seascape Village for dinner. We actually went to another Mexican restaurant, surprise, surprise, called Palapas. And this was a great coastal style Mexican cuisine. During the last few days of our trip, we went to a totally different part of California that was actually a few hours away. It's a little town called Modesto in the Central Valley, and it's actually where I was born. This is where most of my extended family is from, so we wanted to go back and visit for a few days. We drove the mule through the Walnut Acres plenty of times, had a family barbecue, ate even more Mexican food, swam in the pool, and caught up with all of the cousins and extended family. The coffee shop that we went to in Modesto was called Culture Coffee. It was so cute and they had the cutest little home decor items and just little cute trinkety knickknacks. Totally my vibe. But on the day that we went, they actually had this croissant baker who came in and she was selling these gourmet croissants that were so, so good. We had this walnut caramel one, an almond one, and everything was just so decadent and rich and it was just amazing. Amazing. We truly had the best time on this California vacation, and I always look forward to making these memories with the people that I love the most. Thank you guys for coming along this vacation with our family, and let me know if you guys wanna see more travel videos like this one, because this is definitely a new style video for me, and to be honest, it was so fun to make. I would not mind making a lot more of these. So yeah, let me know in the comments, and be sure to say hi. Subscribe if you're new here, and we will see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,